three. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of End of Night's Watch. I'm your host, Chazelle, and of course, I'm here with Patrick and Steven. How are you guys? Expertly. I'm, tenacious. I'm expertly, right? yeah. expertly tenacious. Yes. Wonderful. That, that makes sense. Yes. I'm sure it does. So, before we dive more into this episode, let's take a quick look of Episode 4, Season 8. And we're back. So, this is my favorite segment. Action figures. This is my action figure, and this is Brianne because you guys know she was hot. What did you bring, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Steven, what happened? I, think I thought it was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like that. You know? mm-hmm. I was like, you know, you like hot tamale. She be getting last episode, you know. But, <clears throat> but enough about that. <laughs> um, I brought a. Uh, you know, this this here. You want to turn it around? No. Oh. I don't. Because you don't want to show <laughs> what it says right. in front of it. Because it's Toastmasters Award. <laughs> what? This is a Toastmasters Award. For this Super is Indian. an action figure. Sure. A limited edition. Uh, 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 w- w- what's her name? You tell us. Exactly. Oh, um, Cassandra? Yeah. yeah. Her. Oh. Wow. I, I, I didn't care about her the entire show. <laughs> right? But in this one moment, she... She made the episode for me. She delivered a line and she went out like in a blaze of glory. Literally. What, right? did, what was the line? And the line was Tricarius. It was beautiful. Perfectly delivered. And I felt it. I know Danny felt it too. The next episode is going to be fire. Thank you. Will it? He's so passionate. You only got the one dragon, but anyway, I don't know. Also, that's, that's enough. I don't know, Trust the way, me. The way she said, she said it, but then at the same time, I was like, you know, the dragon couldn't do that. And it was a very impotent cry. It's like Chakari. So it's like, yeah. No, no, no. You, you, you're a non-believer, Stephen. You're right. There right. will be blood I and mean, fire. There'll be blood with one Next dragon. I, I assure you. Ste- anyway. Steven, what did you bring for us well, today? I like you guys. You clearly are just going around. You, this is not a limited. Looking at things <laughs> that you found around the office and not bringing real action figures. This As is, people on the cable. No, what do you, this is not a cable. This is this is mint it condition. Clearly says cable. What do you on know? the bag. On the packaging. That he probably <laughs> got from his office. No, no, this right here is gray worm. <laughs> right? Oh, because it's black. What? It's kind of racist. Wow, that's racist. Okay. That's so offensive. <laughs> wow, you gonna judge him by the cut, by the color of his skin? Anyway, so this is and it's skinny. This is uh, and now you're sizes. Okay, so this is Grey Worm, right? Who I feel out of all the characters, because like usually I I like I gotta say Adria, Arya, oh. but then I was like. It was weird. The thing that she did was weird. And, it was, and then she essentially did the same thing that Jamie did, which is like, hit it and quit it, and then just be like, I, I don't have time for what you're into. You yeah. know, I got my own stuff going on. Lock the door when you're done. <laughs> like, that's how she carried on. That's and yeah, Gentry, for real. Right? And Gentry's ready to give her the word. Even I'm telling you. Risk it all for this. And she's yeah. like, I actually was a virgin. Okay, I guess. I mean, yes. Yeah, but, but so shouldn't it be the other way around? Right, but that's not no. the point. The whole point is, now you have this dude here. The only thing he had to live for. What's up? Mm-hmm. He lost it. He lost mm-hmm. it. And now, he's going to avenge her. You know? And I can see the passion in his eyes. So, so let me, I, I couldn't let me see get the passion straight. inside, her, inside <laughs> Daenerys' eyes. Because I felt like Daenerys... Was you like, she looked like she was going to cry, no. though. Yeah. Did you see her expression at she, the yes. end of that episode? Because she knew she was weak and powerless, and that's what it came off like. Uh-uh. Listen, uh-uh. I don't, I don't know worm, how... available in stores. <laughs> how you could believe that Grey Worm is going to be able to avenge Masandre. Because he's, and, he's and the baddest, And Daenerys and her dragon is going to do completely nothing. You know why? 
because he don't have nothing to live for, so he ain't scared uh, to death. But Whereas you know. Daenerys still believing she could be on this throne, and now she have to accept reality that she don't really have the power that she have. Worse come if in the first thirty minutes of the next episode her dragon yeah, dead. I, I had a feeling I was gonna say that. No, I don't think it's going to I'm be. saying, if that were to happen, then she really would then, be stuck because yeah, all she does right. is John the right. I think because she only have her one dragon, dragon, she's going to, like, preserve him for, like, I you know. Work. She don't have no power without him. <sighs> exactly. That's her right there. Silence. You know, she has some power. Well, anyway, guys, we have that, to take a quick break. Forget. Oh, oh sorry. We, we could take a break? Yes. That's we okay can with take you? a break. Yeah, it's very okay. See? Okay. This is what happens. This is, this is when you get these Daenerys. Go ahead. But let's take a quick break and we'll see you when we come back. Phone is good. Internet is good. TV is good. But why just pick one thing when you can have everything with Tria? Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residentialsales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. And welcome back to the end of Night's Watch. Okay, so guys, I have some quotes and I just want to get your feedback on them, okay? Okay. We defeated them, but we still have us to contend with. Tyrion. How do you feel about that, Patrick? I'm so confused about that statement. What? Why? What, do, what does that mean? We still have us? Who's us? The, hu- the, the living. Oh, okay. Because he said that... Was he trying to be, like, clever or something? It's Tyrion, so he's always trying to be clever. Oh, well, I don't even remember him saying that. I think everything that Tyrion says is supposed to be a quote. Like, you're supposed to put it on on a shirt. Okay. So, what's the quote again? Okay. (laughs) We defeated them, Uh but we still have us to contend with. Them being the the dead. Right. right. I get it. You know, like, the other. Right. Right. Them. Right. Those people. Okay. Sure, Stephen, what's your take? (laughs) So my take on it. has no take. All right, clearly. My take on it is that, I mean, it isn't, it isn't just a take. It's like, it was the obvious. Because, like, the Yeah, that's it, how I felt. Right. It's, it's, sure. We knew that that's what was coming. Because, like, like people constantly look at the show and they're like, oh, they don't, they thought the Night King shouldn't have died so early in the season, realizing that it, he died literally halfway through the season. Because okay. it, it was episode three. Yeah. Right. And it's only six, six episodes. Mm-hmm. But. The entire show, even though they're like, oh, in the very first episode, it starts off with White Walkers or whatever, the show was never about the Night King, right? The Night King is the catalyst that propels the show, and it it helps to motivate some of the characters and helps to put things in motion, and it is the it, it builds the tension for the audience. But the Night King doesn't matter right. in the grand scheme of things. The reason why we watch the show, no one has ever said. The intrigue of the Night King is what brings him back. Everybody be like, but you see how Cersei carry on? You see how, how Daenerys carry on? But you see how they just killed the boy or whatever? It's the actual machinations and the, the, the scandal and the intrigue and the politics. That's what people are drawn to. And so it's like, the truth of the matter is, it was a, a brief distraction from the actual problem. Cersei is a bigger problem than the Night King. She was, and she still is. Daenerys is a bigger problem than the Night King. Like, her desire, the desire for power, mm-hmm. and the, the show isn't called Game of Night King. It's called Game of Thrones. And literally, there's a quote, Thrones. when you play the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. That's the whole basis of the show, right? And so it's like, he's just summing up to, like, put them back on the right track and say, listen, yeah, we beat them. And I know in that moment last night, everybody thought that this was the big deal. And, like, everybody's rejoicing and everybody's saying we won or whatever. But the truth of the matter is, you're not really won. And, like, I think when you see Jamie switching and, like, realizing he have to go back to his sister, whether he's going to kill her or whether he's going to save her, mm-hmm. the truth of the matter is he always had to go back to his sister because this was a vacation from reality. This wasn't reality. Had they died, then whatever. But they didn't die. So now it's Monday and you got to go back to work. 
And that is my thought on the water. Great thoughts. Mm -hmm. Burn. That's one point. <laughs> Next quote. Without Ramsey and Littlefinger and all the rest, I would have stayed a little bird. Sansa said this. You got this, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, you skip it on the first one. I didn't skip out on it. I just had no thoughts about it. I didn't think it was, you know, it's it was an obvious statement. Um, in terms of Sansa, again, I, I, I like to stress that I try not to pay attention to things that Sansa says. Um... <laughs> You know, I She's feel a like whole important character. And, and again, this, this quote, like, without... Yeah, obviously, right? We're trying to play up the fact that she learned from these people who were some of the best, um, you know, connivers, uh, uh, so to speak, players of the game of Thrones in terms of uh, Littlefinger. And you have Ramsey, who, mm -hmm. who knew how to mentally manipulate people. I mean, even look at what he did to... Um, um, Theon. Theon, you know. And so, and beyond that, not only learning from the, the, the people that she encountered, but the experiences, you know, the trauma, um, the things that happened to her kind of shaped and molded her, molded her into the person that she, she claims that she, she's become. So, um, in a way, I understand that. I mean, despite my disdain for her as a character, I get what she's saying because her, that was a response to the hound. Right. Saying, you know, if if you were to come with me, none of this would happen. But she realized, hey, I'm probably alive right now because Correct. I didn't, you know, come with you. W was was her fate going to be the same as Arya's? Who, who knows? But No. Um, that was the answer. <laughs> she definitely wasn't going to learn the things that she learned and become the hardened individual she would have still remained that little bird and i mean if we look at the world of game of thrones even with that description i don't think a little bird <laughs> can survive in that rough terrain no. um for, for too long unless you're a raven but um i mean and I, and I, I get it i think it's one of those things where it's trying to do that whole that modern take of like the bad things in life like trying to like turn it around and, and see the good out of it because she the world was harsh and she was sheltered mm -hmm. and it wasn't until she was exposed to these horrible things albeit nobody wants a, a person to be exposed to this, things that roughly and that tragically but like if she had not been exposed to that they'd have been in Winterfell and she'd have been like Maybe we should uh, um, team up with Cersei. She's not so bad, guys. Right. right. right? And so it's like, like that's how she started off. Right. You know? She's very emotional. Her, yeah. Whoever had the most power, and now she realizes that she can challenge power because you see her doing it with Daenerys. Mm. Whereas before, she just would have gravitated to whoever had the most power. So it's like seeing the growth and learning from your past mistakes and your lessons in life, or something like that. I assume. Now what? That's what I think. The environment changed up. Great. Next quote. See, you're not the only one who's clever. Daenerys said this to Tyrion. To that I say, yes, he is. But, like, I felt as though that was so shady. That was shade. Why? Yeah. I don't think so. I... Was she, it, like, it was like fun little banter between the two. No. Like, because, remember, I feel, and, and she was kind of... It was a throwback to her criticism of him, because th this I mean, later on, like the season before that, most of that season, and even at the beginning of this season, um, the whole thing was, you're not clever <laughs> anymore, or you've you've your cleverness has seemed to run its course. So, I guess it was kind of a playful chair no, towards it. But keep in mind, she said that after she named what what's his name. Right. His and then Lord. he revealed that he knew the reasoning. Right, correct. By that. Right. right. So he figured out, and she said, "Well, yeah, yeah. See, I can, I can come up with clever plots and schemes myself." I mean, it wasn't because it wasn't that clever or anything. It's like <laughs> honestly, you just ate it. No, it's <laughs> like it was. It once again, it's an obvious thing to do, yeah. right? To maintain power. Right. And like the problem is the reason why she's not clever is because if you want to see real clever and cunning. Let's take a look at Cersei. Cersei is literally doing the thing that um, Varys and Tyrion were contemplating trying to convince her and Jon to do, which is y'all two get the two people who have power 
get married, consolidate the power, have an heir, the heir have all the power, power. Mm-hmm. right? And that way it'll be peace through the union of marriage. They know that they can't sell on that idea. She has no interest in that idea, right? However, look at Cersei. Cersei is like, oh, you'll rule the sea, I'll rule the land, and our child will rule both or whatever, right? And it's like, one of the innocent child. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. The point is, Cersei is like, I will pretend to share power with you, and then the child, who is my child, Mm -hmm. will have everything, right? Cersei is intelligent enough to do that. Daenerys, on the other hand, is not clever enough to do that. So... I think I think Daenerys is just being true to herself. I, I'm not saying that she's not. Right. I'm saying, but herself is is also one. She's kind of like John in that she way. She Whereas John, John will refuse uh, yes. to do the things He's that he should stupid. do. John is very stupid, right? John and is she's just like that. I mean, right. I have no, no I, I have no yeah. doubt. Mm-hmm. Cersei's saying whatever she needs to say. Right. Cersei will not do what she's saying she will do. No. Uh, At the end of the war, whatever it is, she can kill that dude. Oh yeah, yeah. But guess what? That's what I'm And while she's but killing him, she's going to reveal that it's not his child. So like, that's the last thing he hears before he dies. Right. That's and the and word. I think that's his child. At the end of the day, though, yeah. you know what? Well, yeah, yeah, you have to exactly. Clever. And that was my only point. My only mm-hmm. point was that the Cersei's a good person. My point is that Cersei's a clever person. But I think in the context of the show, I mean, because we have to give her credit, Who? Um, Daenerys, yeah. is that in the context of the show, I the mean, reason it's why it's considered clever is because no one else realizes that's why she did it. Everybody thinks, "Wow, she's such a great person." Right, uh, yes. Look what she did, yes. she she made him a, a legit heir, whatever it no, is. But I she had a she I had a that, no, That's way. why Tyrion, Tyrion mentioned mm-hmm. it to to show you that no one else is thinking on that level. Mm-hmm. I, so I guess, but I mean, like here's the thing: to me, right, or like she. In I a mean, sense, and you're be, right. She's not as clever, but right. like I said, in the context of the the show, she the fooled audience. everyone else. Yeah. They're right. thinking, sh- "Wow, she's such a great queen." Wow. Look at what she did for the entry. I can't. Argue and then he that. feel that way too. Yeah, right. And I, right. Say, I can't argue that because it's like uh, the the show is full of idiots, right? <laughs> um, and so uh, and would, John is the biggest one, right? And so it's like I cannot argue that to say that that's not how they felt. Now, when I was watching it. When she started talking, I was like, oh, God, this woman's so power hungry. And it's like, mm-hmm. and you see where, because whoever has the power feels that they have to hold on to it so tightly mm-hmm. that they say weird things and they challenge stuff. And it's like, who is, it was, that happened in that same room before, where it's like, either Sansa said, oh, didn't you blah, blah, blah. Oh, and there's demanding that the little boy who died in episode one, there's like, he should be killed because his family betrayed us, whatever. And there's an, and Santa's like, oh, we forgive you, and then bring your people out of Winterfell. The same boy got killed in episode, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, like, you see where, like, power essentially makes you, like, bend the knee. Like, you have to swear allegiance to us, and that's your, and we'll forgive you then. But we, we need to make sure this is absolute obvious. So, it's like, when she said that, it's like, oh, you're Robert Baratheon, son. Everybody went quiet mm-hmm. because it's like, oh, F. It's just going to be one of those bend the knee moments or whatever. Mm. But then when she turned around, everybody just like, oh, sigh of relief. And I don't think they actually put any thought in it to say she's good or not. I think they're just like, we can go back to partying. Mm-hmm. But I guess she thinks she's clever. I don't think it's <laughs> clever. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's move on to the next quote. She's hateful and so am I. Jamie said this to Brianne after, you know, they finish being spicy and he had to go i don't think it's right after well it wasn't right after yeah. but you know what he i mean slapped a little mm-hmm. bit no, this, is, yeah. this was in the, this was in the same day i don't this think they watched don't worry but he came out the were, same house they were still like you know mm, okay then all right um i didn't need to bask in right yeah that listen no, you know, no comment I heard he spoke on this yeah i was rooting for jamie i still am you for? But uh, that kind of that kind of hurt me a little bit. You know, there's nothing to root for. Jimmy was, has been broken since he lost his heart, and I realized something in watching that ap- in watching that episode. It reminded me, Jimmy's right. He's not a good person. No, he's mm-hmm. a person, and the problem is his unwillingness to forgive himself, as well as his loss of power, is what made him. A likable character. It wasn't that he became better. It was that he wasn't able to do the damage he used to do. He lost his power because he literally lost his right hand. Right? And so because of that, he 
he suddenly is weak, he needs help, he has to ask people for stuff. Before that, he used to take it, he didn't care, what nobody right. said, he killed everybody, whatever. And so now, he's weakened or whatever, and so we felt sorry for him. But the truth of the matter is, he's not learned anything. If his hand were to grow back, he'd be the same douchebag. Mm -hmm. He's been crying and lamenting because of the loss of his hand, because he's not the man he once was. Not because the world is a horrible place and he made it that way. He always knew what the world was. He doesn't care. He wants it to be that way if he could participate in it. So in that sense, you're saying if he still had his hand, we wouldn't have seen a change. He wouldn't change. even fight with them. You're correct. But in reality, he doesn't. Right. And so he became the person he became. His redemption will only come in his death. That's the only way he'll right. forgive himself if he dies. Like when and on his dying bed, he'll forgive himself. But up until then, he feels as though he has to prove that he is a valiant per. Like the way Daenerys is only her dragons, he is only his valiancy. Being the the king slayer, yeah, which he doesn't really like. No, he doesn't like because yeah. it's like because he he betrayed his oath. But I'm saying, but being this bad per like this. This cool yeah, he was he was it. known as one of the the greatest Night swordsmen, seven. right? In you know in the seven kings, and like he lost that, and so he needs to gain that, and the, he feels like it's one of those things where I will go to Valhalla if I die fighting. Mm, like I feel himself. like it's along those lines, and so it's like he's rushing back into turmoil where like they're everybody's pretty sure. Okay, go into Winterfell, you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. He got to Winterfell, he didn't die. Now go into King's Landing, you gonna die because like you gonna be in the intersection between a bunch of foolishness. And you're but I think that's killer. that's where he needs to be. It the only reason, the only reason I said it hurt me because, and I feel they set it up this way. It implied that he was going back to Cersei, right? Not that he was going back to join the battle because no. to me, I don't think he would be comfortable um, fighting her. No, just sitting back, sitting back. With, with everybody else going to war. Right. I feel like, regardless of how he feels about his skills or who he is as a man... He has to fight. He, right, he has to fight because it's in him. And so, I knew he would he would go back. But the the when we were talking about the quote specifically, I felt that line made it seem as if he's like, hey, I'm going back to Cersei. Because that's literally what he said. He's like, yeah, I he go back that. to her. And I'm like, so are you doing this? Like, what's going to happen I when think he gets the, there? The thing is, no one... Is he going to be against her? Right. Or is he going to well, be with but her? Then right, gotta, now, that's the question. Mm. You got to remember, before he even said that quote, he was like, I did all of these things for Cersei. Right. I, like for Cersei. I did this for Cersei. I did that for and Cersei. And now he's, yeah. he's, making, he's comparing the two and saying, we're the same person. Mm -hmm. Like, she's hateful and so am I. It's like, so what's happening? What is he going to do when he gets back? Like... No, don't do this. You know like, what he gonna do? You know what? Oh yeah. gosh. Ew. If that happens, I honestly. You I forget? Know. Are you forgetting this dude had sex with her <laughs> next to the body of his dead son slash nephew? Uh, I love how you said yes. it. I love Listen, how you said it. Jamie said it himself. He's a hateful person, right? But I mean, after all of that, that shouldn't even be on your mind, baby. Like, don't go back there. And try to sleep with this woman, please. Why like, not? <laughs> like, See, you're saying you don't have time for that. You're saying that it shouldn't be on his mind, but here's the thing: it there's no reason for it to not be on her mind unless right. unless it's when a swing. Is he, he trying to catch her while she's vulnerable? So you be like, yeah, let me put this on, on, on. You know? Maybe Take maybe he song. might be the so. one to kill her because he might be the only one to get that close. Or maybe or maybe she she kills him. Hmm. Final yeah. next time on Dragon Ball Z. Anyway. <laughs> Prom property, but okay. Anyways, guys, so we'll have to take a quick break. See you back when we get back. See you back when we get back. Phones are good, but why have one good thing when you can have everything? Get unlimited local and international calling with Trio. Get everything. Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. And we're back. So 
Let's just take a moment of silence for those that died off and on screen. This is for me for all the soldiers. We need you. <laughs> Life is so unreal. I know the words. That's not the next line. That is the words. Guys, who do you feel will die in this next episode? Grey Worm. I feel that way too. I feel like Grey Worm get dead. I feel like the Hound get dead. But he get killed. No, no I feel like Grey Worm this, just take a go to war yeah. and he could be crazy. <laughs> yeah, he could die fighting. Maybe, yeah. maybe, because um, he he has to fight the mountain. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't. Maybe that'll happen next episode. I feel like Jimmy. Won't die. No, I don't. Die. No. And I, I and I feel like Thingam won't die. Tyrion won't die. Like I feel like all the Lannisters will still be alive. I feel like Daenerys will be alive. I think that one of the Starks has to die. I don't. It would be Steven, heartbreaking. If none of the up. Starks are going to die. No, one more of them. Listen, <laughs> I'm telling you, none of them will die. Okay. If a Stark dies, it's going to be Bran or Jon. No, John can't die. John, listen. That's why he could die. And if John doesn't die, then no Stark will die, right? But because why would he die? John need to die. I don't know. Give me get some the worst Stark of all. <laughs> Let's not forget, John already dead. Like, oh yeah, yeah. he died. Yeah, but once. Need to bring him back. Right. So, so which means he could die again right. and be like, oh, we saw this happen before. Right. Like, this ain't no big deal. Will he come back? No. This dude, <laughs> plus he's constantly putting himself in situations. Of death, like he literally. What you think was gonna happen he when went. he stand up to that dragon? Like when he did that. If Arya didn't stab him, his, boy, to see him die. His Tigerian John was would take have over. been dead. That's no, right, dead. His Tigerian burned alive. Would be dead. Tigerian <laughs> can't burn with blue flame. <laughs> this dude, he he literally got up and I saw a look in his face. He's like, wait, yeah, this the end for me. I died now. But see, that's the thing. So what? He's like, wait. Oh, you mean when Arya stabbed the Night King and then like, they got yeah. up and he could do nothing against that dragon. The dragon was just gonna Here's the burn thing. him. Y'all know what he's doing, you know. You just no, he doesn't. You, you just no, don't I, see it. Y'all don't see it. Well, was, I, no, he does know what he's doing. He was suicidal he was at that point. He, like, <laughs> that's the thing. That's he had no like other him. choice. That's what I don't like about John. I don't like the fact that John is, is like it's one thing to be like, oh, you don't desire power. Okay. Yes, that's a great thing. However, there's a thing called responsibility, right? You don't desire power, but realizing that you are probably the best person suited for it and that people have put their trust and faith in you, you cannot keep on abdicating the throne or the mm -hmm. crown or, or power to whoever else acts it because you feel like it's too much. And it's like, well, I, it's, I, I only can look at it from a psychological standpoint where it's like, I don't want it. Right. Because he is a bastard. He really don't sound He's like that. He's a people pleaser. He does. That's what he sounds like to okay. me. Well, he All right? Just, he don't sound like that. All right? Okay. okay. I didn't know you were. No, but remember when accident. Tyrion and the other consultants. I know what they, I know they said, but my mm -hmm. thing is that looking at his behavior, right? He, he's a people pleaser, but at the same time, he's afraid to take control because he never was allowed to take control. If you look at the very first season, the very first episode, when they found the wolf, all the fi the dead dire wolf yeah. mother and the five puppies, he only got one because they had an extra one left, mm. right? It wasn't like oh, you was ever gonna get one. He's used to getting the scraps, and um, Theon had a better deportment than him. Like Theon wasn't carrying on like I is the lackey, even though Theon technically mm. was a, a slave or like a captor to the Stark family. Theon used to carry on like. I'm still technically a prince. I just don't have power or whatever. He, he never acted like a prince. He acted like, I used to do a bastard son, but I can't even call him daddy, and I'm afraid, and like a sniveling dog coward or whatever, right? And the whole thing is like, do I feel bad for him? Yes. Do I think that he, his humility makes him slightly better than Daenerys as a leader? Yes. But the problem is, Daenerys today, and then tomorrow, if another, like let's say a, a little finger type character were to develop, which I'm sure there are thousands of them inside that realm, right? I come whispering his ear. 
the whole entire nation would fall into chaos because this dude is so easily swayed anything to get away from the responsibility of power because he's not used to it. He to grow up. And he feels like he doesn't deserve to be in charge. And, like, that's the real problem. Like, he knows that he's the rightful heir. And he literally is like, I won't, I, 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 I'll, I'll, you're my queen. How about you? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it's like, bro, you the king. I don't know, maybe he's in love. I was, saying, he's whipped. But was he was he he's all? Whipped. But was he also in love when he gave up um, rulership for the North before he had sex with her? Was he also in love when he didn't want to be the Night's Watch captain twice? Why would he want to be the Night's Watch? No, but because he was he he was determined to be a part of the Night's Watch, but he just didn't want to be the leader. I mean, it's let's like not forget. Not let's not forget he broke the rules. Oh, like, all of broke the rules. Everybody inside. No, but I mean, like to me, that's great that a person who would so who be uh, readily break the rules not want to be captain because now you're saying hey I got to uphold this nonsense no I want to juice and have children and then no I guess married. what Stephen is saying right. that he had multiple opportunities to be a leader and he opt out of it right and that's, that's what I'm saying as well I mean because that's literally what happened right There's <laughs> but I'm saying because of that I wouldn't trust him and that's why I want him to die well, I didn't I, okay I I, that's it I just thought no I didn't get that point <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, and then everybody else will die. After John? No, because Danny will burn people alive. I mean, she will burn e- women, children, oh, God. servants, slaves. I just innocent bystanders. Then just Where I want to die, where I think it's because <laughs> I I want Aria to die. Aria to die. You right. always want Aria to All die. Right. So pa- Patrick, who would you want to? S- I mean, well, who do you think will die the next episode? Um. Yeah, Steven said Grey Worm. I think Grey. I mean, I think he's he's a candidate. Like between. Obviously, we have two episodes left. So anybody who's gonna die is going to have to die <laughs> very soon. Yeah. Um. So I don't think they'll leave Grey Worm for episode six. If he is going to die, I think he's gonna die. Maybe he'll be king. This episode. Grey anyway, Worm. Um. <laughs> that's, that's not gonna happen. Or maybe he won't die because everybody thinks he's going to die. True. But, again, like Stephen mentioned, he's one of those people that they don't have anything to live for. So, if they're going to give him a moment, this he's going to he's gonna have his moment. And then he'll, he's going to go out. I mean, he's, he's not. Cool, Sully, he's He lives by the sword, die by the sword. That's just, that's what he knows. And he planned to have this vacation or retirement or whatever it is with the woman he loves. And now she's gone. And to me, that's no longer an option. He's not going to do that by himself. And so the next, the only other way to join her is in death. So it's basically going to be like, remember the episode before when the little girl died by the big... Um, Giant. Giant. Right. And it was like she played a vital role in the war from the beginning till the end. Um, and, you know, maybe people may not have noticed her, but... She was young, and she had this power to be a part and to help. And, like, they made her go in the bind because she killed the giant, but sadly, she ended up being killed yeah. as well. So maybe Grey Worm might have a moment like that. Yeah, he'll, he'll have a moment. And um, the Hound probably... I want him to live. Honestly, I mean, if if he does die again, I feel he'll he'll die next episode. But I think it'd be interesting if he doesn't actually die. Maybe he's wounded again. And he lives so old. And he, right, and life. he lives again because we thought he would die. Um, Two, three seasons back. Right, and he he survived. So maybe they they. He's a fighter, man. They do that again with his character. Um, and yeah, those are the only two I feel like next episode. Uh, and then anybody else, they'll definitely leave it for the finale, uh, whether it be John or Daenerys or whoever else, who, who, who everybody is is speculating. Like I don't know. Oh, that was you guys remember that moment where people thought Tyrion to die when oh. he went into the water. Oh, yeah. I didn't think he died. That's I, how all of his battles. I thought he. I thought well, he. Yeah, when the thing fell. <laughs> right, I was like, was like oh, he has a very hard head. <laughs> That's what he does. He drinks and gets hit on the head. He drinks and never stays. Anyway, guys, so this conversation has been fun, but time to wrap it up. 
subscribe to HBO. Get your subscription today. Remember, if you subscribe today, you get the third month free. It's only $17.99 per month and get the third month free. This is the end of Night's Watch. Thanks for watching. You can have one good thing, or you can have everything, including dragons. Free HBO Go and 90 plus channels. $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residentialsales at cablebahamas.com. Rav, you and us together. This is for my fallen soldiers. We miss you. Although we can't be with you. Life is... You ready to come back?